five aesthetic bodybuilders from the 90s. Um, first up, we have Charles Claremont. Now, I've always said that the early 90s, you know, uh, pre-1994, was the end of old school bodybuilding. Before then, we, we I used the term old school bodybuilding. After that, the growth hormone and insulin protocols really took off. And um, in my opinion, it really spoiled the physiques from that point. Uh, Charles Claremont here is in a 1990 competition. And how amazing does he look? Fantastic separation, proportions. He really holds each pose and um, rings that pose for all it's worth. He had an amazing back, incredible abs, and um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite bodybuilders of the early 90s. So uh, that's, that's my first one up today. Now, secondly, we have a surprise, Lee Priest. Now, I know what you're thinking, yeah, Lee Priest was in the uh, late 90s and 2000s, but this was his debut competition in 1993 at the Niagara Falls Classic. It's not the best camera work, but um, look, you can't complain when you get to see Lee Priest in his absolute aesthetic condition. In my opinion, he got a little bit too big later on and sports some of his lines. Here, just perfection. Um, I was a fan of Lee Priest before he became pro, you know, growing up in Australia. Lee Priest was the man, you know, he, he looked insane. Look, if you want to really nitpick, possibly a little bit um, narrow in the shoulders structurally, and uh, his pecs could have done with a little bit more, but to me, this is, this is when Priest really looked his best. And just the presentation, the amazing shape of his muscles, the X frame for a smaller, narrower guy, just um, super impressive. So there you go. Lee Priest is my second pick for aesthetic bodybuilders of the 90s. Now this third one you might not have heard of, but you're going to want to. John Sherman, they used to call him the Sherman Tank. Now this guy was massive. Not tall, but uh, just had that enormous thick torso that um, went down to a tiny waist. He really did have an awesome X frame. Now the footage you're seeing here is... Um, when he was just about to turn pro. He did get a lot bigger, so check out some of the other photos of him and videos on YouTube and the internet. Definitely worth looking up. Very inspirational. Um, of particular worthy of note is his vacuum. You know, when, when he hits a double bicep, incredible vacuum that he can hit, tapering down to a, a tiny waist. So uh, he's, he's definitely my third choice. The aesthetic bodybuilders, aesthetic bodybuilders of the 90s, sorry. Mauro Sani. Mauro Sani always impressed me with his fantastic shape and, and, and lines. Sometimes he, um, it can be said that he needs to hold his pose. But um, overall, I, I really like his, his balance and flow in his physique. If you really want to nitpick, you could ask for a tiny bit of a a wider back when he hits a lat spread but look um, that's that, that is definitely nitpicking isn't it he, he looks sensational here legs weren't the biggest but in my opinion sometimes big legs can actually detract from the impact of, of a physique um, now nowadays the thighs are definitely too big for the cards but you'll notice the guys that I'm showing you here generally have great thigh to calf balance and forearm to upper arm balance and everything displays and is in proportion. So that's that's what a true classic physique is about. That's Mario Sani. And next up is Terry Pastel. Now the footage I'm showing you here isn't the best. He wasn't in his best condition here, but I, I do like this footage in that it's it's his front on and you really get to see the outstanding shape of this man. Again, not the tallest bodybuilder, but he makes up for it with his new esque muscles and, and uh, definitely his abs. So there you have it, five aesthetic bodybuilders from the early 90s, um, my era. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you like it, please subscribe. Keep it classic.